please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. In today's show, we'll be talking about the state of our school. Meaning, what is coming up for us in our school? Hi everybody, I'm Ethan Eisenhart. And I'm Allie McBride. So today I don't have Annie. Instead I have another A name, and that is the wonderful, gorgeous, beautiful Allie McBride. Well, thanks Ethan. But we really should get back to the show. And you are right, you are just so intelligent. Alright. Alright, attention seniors. Were you an adorable baby? Because I sure was. And if you want to show off that adorableness, go to www.yearbookordercenter.com, enter order number 779 to buy your space. And while you're there, you might as well buy a yearbook. And lastly, MLK Junior Project take, is taking place now through November 17th when cash prizes for entries in art, writing, or multimedia. See Ms. Myers in room 303 at lunch for more information. Cyber High will be held on November 8th and November 22nd. After the 22nd, there will only be two more Cyber High dates. Make sure that you are completing your work at home and, com and come prepared to take a unit exam or two. If you do not complete your contract for, this cy for Cyber High this semester, you will not be eligible to take Cyber High next semester. Okay, well, that was a lot of announcements, Allie. Don't you agree? Yeah. Let's move on to the weather now. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's supposed to be fall, but it hasn't started to rain at all yet. Like, you notice? I know. I'm excited for the raising, rainy season to start. Let's take a look at this week's forecast. I knew it was you. What'd you do? Your friend is not dead. Looks like it's going to be a cool week this week, but no sign of rain. Yeah, hopefully there'll be rain coming soon, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, enough about the weather. Have you ever heard about the tech bond? No, what is it? I don't know. I thought you would know. Well, why would you expect me to know things like that? I don't know. Well, arguing, well instead of arguing about this, let's go to Madison and Dakota to find out about what this tech bond thing is all about. Welcome to the iPad Lab. I am Madison Krubidi Michelle, and in here we use technology to expand our education. With that said, I'm using an iPad to pull up the Santa Clara County general election ballot, and if we continue to scroll down, we will eventually find that tech bond, which I'm here today to educate you on. The Ed Tech Bond is an initiative on the November 4th ballot that will allow the districts to sell $113 million worth of bonds over the next 18 years to help fund technology in our classrooms. This bond is specific to technology and can't be used for anything else. We'll be able to have computers in every single classroom and so that students that want to bring their own or have a nicer laptop at home Great, uh, but students that cannot afford a laptop will be able to check laptop out and take them home. The bond money will be spent on many different technological related things such as infrastructure for the internet, computers, laptops, software, wireless access, and professional development. Not only will this money benefit classrooms and schools, the district also plans to give wireless access to 90% of students in their homes. This means every student in the district will get free Wi-Fi. The ability now to be able to do project-based learning uh, from home with collab collaborating with your, your peers, uh, and then the technology behind open source textbooks. So instead of having to carry five textbooks in your backpack, we will now have open source e-readers. Your textbooks will be online and you'll be able to write on them and not worry about damaging the books. That to me is going to open the doors for new type of instruction. 
Traditionally, the district has purchased bonds in a way where they can get all the money up front. This makes sense for construction projects where the costs are in the hundreds of millions of dollars all at once. These bonds are then paid off over 30 years, but that means the district is paying 30 years worth of interest on the bonds. The ed tech bond is different in that districts will only purchase a small amount of bonds at a time and then pay it off over three to five years. This matches the life of the technology because computers don't last 30 years. If we finance the ed tech bond traditionally, we would end up paying 58 million in interest. By doing it this way, we will only pay $5 million in interest. We will sell a series of bonds every three to five years that matches the life of the technology. But before we sell the next series, we pay off the principal and interest of the previous series. That's why you're only paying $5 million in interest. Measure I will be voted on tomorrow, November 4th, and Mr. Funk is hopeful that it will pass. We have to only go out to vote once, but what this will do is it will provide us a source of funding for the next 18 years. Wow, that was great. So I suggest if you guys want more technology, because I know I do, and more of these desks. Like, seriously, what desks do this? then I suggest you tell your parents to vote yes on the EdTech bonds. I am Madison Kermit Michelle reporting for SCHS News. Signing off. That's pretty exciting. If you're over 18, make sure to vote for Measure 1 tomorrow. If not, make sure to tell your parents to. Also, class powder puff meetings are today. Emphasis on today. This will be a mandatory informal meeting for girls interested in playing and boys interested in being cheerleaders or coaches. Freshmen are in Mr. P.A.'s room, that's 218. Sophomores are in Ms. Zilong's room, Zilong, in room 402. Juniors are in Ms. Martinez's room, which is 1301. And seniors are in Ms. Lai's room, which is 306. Make sure you do not miss this meeting. We have more informative things to say, like clubs. Let's go take a look at the club slides. So Acoustic Club meets Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday at lunch in room 612 and offers guitar lessons and performances. Also in BSU, they will talk about stereotypes that people think about African Americans and share what they feel, but also they want, they want to represent the African American culture, not the black stereotypes. They meet in room 203. Military Support Club will have their first meeting on Tuesday, November 4th in Mr. Young's classroom, which is in 213. Do you think you have a good voice? Well, Robotics Club is looking for someone to sing the national anthem at their first LEGO League qualifying tournament here at ST on Sunday, November 23rd. If you're interested, please see Ms. Demas in room 412 or email her at demasd at esuhsd.org. You may also tell any, ro mem ro any robotics member if you want to participate. Uh, also, attention all ST students who want to be involved in the 12th man meeting for the football game on November 8th against Oak Grove. If you have any questions, go talk to Maddie Gersteski or Victoria Gar. Hey guys, there's going to be an ST drama show. It's called The Trouble with Trent, and it's playing November 6th, 7th, and 8th. Doors open at 7. Show starts at 7.30. Also, help support Interact's annual food drive, November 3rd to November 21st. Bring your non-perishable items to a collection can. It will be in the front office, attendance office, room 412. Or you can bring it to any teacher participating. You can also donate grocery cards in $10 amounts to Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, Smart and Final, or Safeway. All food stays in the ST community. There is enough, but every family that needs food is given something. Please help this drive so other families can enjoy their Thanksgiving. So, there have been, like, a lot of rumors about ST having block schedule. Like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I've heard a lot about it. Well, I believe Lauren has a lot to say about that.
Of the 19 high schools in Santa Clara County that are not part of our district, only three have the traditional schedule that we have every day. The rest have some kind of block schedule or traditional schedule with an advisory period. Noticing this discrepancy, Mr. Louie began to investigate. Student stress is at an all-time high, and having to focus on six different classes with six different periods of homework every single day only adds to students' hectic lives. Mr. Louie is proposing a schedule where students would only have three classes a day and three periods of homework a night. The school days would also be shorter on some days of the week because there would be less passing periods. Right now, our current schedule looks like this, with first period starting at 7.20 and all the periods running through the day until 7th period, which ends at 3 o'clock. Each class is 55 minutes long and you have every class every day. This is the proposed schedule. Tuesdays and Thursdays have periods 1, 3, 5, and 7, with first period starting at 7.20 and 7th period ending at 3.10. At first glance, this seems like a longer day, but if you have a 2 through 7 schedule, you don't start until 9.20 a.m., and if you have a 1 through 6 schedule, you would end at 12.45. Wednesdays and Fridays are periods 2, 4, and 6. Second starts at 8.20, and 6 would end at 3.20. The day is a little longer because there will be an advisory period in the morning. Also, lunch would be extended to 40 minutes with the new schedule. So if you put it all together, Monday is still the collaboration as we know it. Tuesday and Thursday would be, I think we have odds. Um, Wednesday and Friday would be evens with advisory and 40 minute lunches. Students and teachers have mixed opinions about block schedule. Having, you know, an hour or so, or a little less than an hour of PE um, has worked um, for us. So we just want to keep that going. Because especially if we want to do labs, it gives us time to really introduce the lab, perform the lab, clean up, and then kind of recap the lab so that we can make sure that all the students actually understood the point of the lab and were able to connect the book material to the actual lab. The block schedule is not a guarantee. There's still a lot that needs to happen before we even know if the schedule will change. The teachers will vote on the schedule in February and will require a two-thirds majority for the proposed schedule to pass. In the meantime, students, teachers, and parents are invited to be part of teams that will investigate the block schedule. These teams will visit local schools who are on block schedule and see how they like it. Wow, that's probably going to change the state of our school. Yeah, for sure. But I think we have some announcements about sports. Right, Allie? Right. Let's take it over here. Cross Country has BVALs at Crystal Springs today, November 3rd. JV Volleyball has a game against Independence at ST from 5 to 6 p.m. on November 4th, while Varsity Volleyball has a game against Independence on November 4th from 6 to 7.30. BVAL Women's Tennis Tournament, November 5th. Men's Water, po Men's Water Polo has BVAL Tournament, November 5th to 8th. And Women's Water Polo also has their BVAL, BVAL tournament November 5th to 8th. JV Volleyball is playing against Del Mar at ST from 5 to 6 on November 6th. V Varsity Volleyball is playing at ST from 6 to 7.30 on November 6th. Frosh Soft Football versus Oak Grove at 9 a.m. on November 8th at ST. And Varsity Football versus Oak Grove at ST at noon on November 8th. Also, wrestling practice begins on Monday, November 3rd at 4.30. Meet in the mat room. Bring running and wrestling shoes. For more information, see Coach Ramirez in Girls PE office. Alrighty, we have a, me a CAC meeting November 4th at 5.30. And there's an STABC meeting November 4th at 7. Also, a jazz band is going to play at West Valley College on November 7th. Also, there is a marching band competition at Independence High School on November 8th. If you have any announcements for the broadcast, send them to tinyurl.com slash stbcast. And make sure to follow at STHS News on Twitter for daily updates and exclusive content. Well, ST, that's all I have for you today. Do you have any more? No, no, I think that's it. Well, I think that's all we have for you today. I'm Ethan Eisenhower, and this is my friend... Ally McBride. Have a great day! Bye, SC. Two. So a
acoustic club. Oh, 